thanks for watching this video on the 250 watt 24 volt electric motor kit. Um, I'm going to show you through the parts on this little video so you know exactly what comes in the box. I've got it all lined out in front of me and we'll go through them one at a time. So first of all, you're going to have a bracket so you can fit the motor to your car, to your bike, um, or cart, or go kart or whatever else you choose to use. So we have some screws and washers and little brackets in there so you can connect with these. You can connect this bracket to the frame of your bike. So this pit bit goes on the back wheel, bolts on, and the motor just fits in here and you have three screws to put on there and there is some because of the holes there is some uh, sort of leeway on the frame angle so it will fit most standard frames this is the motor itself that attaches to that bracket and we can see it's 224 direct current which means it has to be a battery and the output is 250 watts. Once your bracket is in place, the motor fits in place here. There it is. You also get the chain. Put this to one side. The new sprocket adapters and an extended axle. Some axles will be fine and you won't have to change them, others you need to replace the axle for a wider unit. Use these two adapters, one or two adapters, and fit your original um, cogs with the extra cog that will fit around the chain and the motor. And again the cog itself uh, will lock in one way, it's not fixed. So it will freewheel in one direction and lock and power the bike in the other. Put these to one side and now we'll start to look at some of the electrical components. The main electrical component you will get with the kit is this magic box which controls and joins everything together. Everything you get is clearly marked. So it tells you exactly what you should be putting on each connection. The only two that aren't marked up are the large blue and white and the large red and black. You do get instructions, you do get some instructions with them and it will tell you exactly what they're going to. So the thick blue and thick white go to the motor, the thick red and thick black go to the battery. There's also a small picture on here to show you how to wire up two 12 volt batteries in series to give you the 24 volts required. We know it's much cheaper to buy two 12 volts than one expensive 24 volt, volt battery. The connectors, you also have a small bag of connectors to make up. So once you do get your battery and you've wired it up, you have the right connector, nice and neat that will just plug into the electric box. So everything you need is in the kit. We also get a standard grip to match the throttle. So this will go on one side and on the other you'll get the actual throttle itself. Again which just clips in to the correct wire again all clearly marked. Once this one's on this is your accelerator so you'll go from zero to full speed using this throttle switch just like a, mo just like a motorbike. The motor is powerful enough to take you without having to pedal although if you use pedal assistance as well then obviously your battery will last substantially longer because you're not using as much power. You have got a few other extras on here as well. We have a charger. So again, this would be ideal if you, were, you had a 24 volt charger, you could use this straight into the bike to charge both batteries up. If you don't, it's just a case of using one 12 volt 
charger, standard car charger, and separating the batteries and charging them one at a time. But it does come with this charging unit. You also have a nice little on off key. Again, not really suitable for a bike, but it can be used on rickshaws, go karts, or whatever else you design with two keys. also get this light, quite a powerful light with on off switch. You have the amount of charge left in your battery and also a power switch to show you that the power is on or off. And lastly get two brakes. One of them you don't have to use, it's just a, two stand, a standard brake cable. Um, the other one is connected to the electrics. Well, let me just check these, in fact we have to undo them to check them. Well, in fact they're both, both connected to the electrics, sorry. So both connected to the electrics, so whether you brake front or rear, it will shut off the motor, stop power going to the motor, and also, because of the cables, will engage the normal braking system of your bike. So regardless whether you do left or right hand, both will turn off the power to the motor. And again, all wiring included. And that is the full kit. All this available from www.eurocarts.com. Thanks for watching.